If you've visited the AoE2 subreddit or the official forums recently, then you've likely seen several posts from players who couldn't find their sheep. The random map scripts have changed quite a bit in the Definitive Edition, so what's happened to the sheep? Do they really spawn further away now? Let's find out. First, we'll see how sheep locations were generated in the original Arabia random map script. On standard maps, we have a group of four sheep near our town center, then an extra two groups of two sheep further away. The original Arabia loads a land resources file that was used by most of the standard maps to generate the normal starting resources. Each object on the map is placed using a create object command. This command controls the number of units placed, groups units together, determines the distance where units can go, and controls various other attributes. Let's just add a bunch of sheep to show the possible spawn locations. These extra sheep can be generated at a distance of 14 to 30 tiles from the center right of the TC. This distance is measured using the Chebyshev metric, which we can think of as the minimum number of moves it takes a king to get from one tile to another on a chessboard. For the most part, this map generation gets the job done. There's even an avoidance distance to prevent sheep from spawning too close to berries or to gold and stone mines. But it can be annoying when the sheep spawn on the far diagonals. Some middle school math tells us that these sheep can spawn up to 30 times the square root of 2 tiles away, or at a distance equal to about 42 tiles along the diagonal. And if we look at an example map, we see that sheep for different players can overlap each other. It's possible, albeit rare, for our sheep to be closer to our opponent than they are to us. So what changes does DE make? Well, a whole lot. Instead of using one simple command to generate sheep, there's now a complicated system of choosing different terrain biomes, selecting various animals, and controlling the positions where they spawn. If you remember one of my previous videos, this system used to be quite buggy, and resources spawned only on the straight lines passing through player town centers. This happened because the spawns used the find closest command, which uses the standard Euclidean metric instead of the Chebyshev metric. To fix this issue, the maps now create several circles around the player TC using blank objects. These objects don't appear in game, but I'll change them to kings just so that we can visualize what's happening. To create a circle, there is a minimum placement square that is defined using the Chebyshev metric. Then, find closest is used with a large number of objects that are placed using the Euclidean metric. Let's see what happens as we add more and more objects. At first, the units are placed at the midpoints of the square's edges, but then as units are added, they start to fill around the region in a circular shape, with each unit being placed at the closest point not already occupied by another unit. The map script uses a random number of blank objects so that the circles have different sizes for different map generations, and there are five different values for how large the inner radius of the blank object circle can be to provide some further variation. Now the magic of placing sheep happens. Each blank object is given a number called an actor area. This number lets later parts of the map script refer to these objects. The sheep that are placed then have an avoid actor area instruction that prevents them from spawning on the blank objects and pushes them outside of the circle. This system is a bit of a hack to get circular placement while still using find closest and ensuring that the sheep always spawn. But there's one key issue here. In the new command for creating the sheep, the distance for the two groups of extra sheep is chosen once for all groups, not independently for the separate groups. The original game uses a randomly generated distance between the min and max value of 14 and 30 tiles. This random number is generated separately for all uses of that create object command. A different distance is chosen for each group of sheep. But in the DE script, the random block and call to the RNG instruction each generate only one random number. Instead of choosing a different distance for each use of the create object command, a single number is generated and used for all commands. This process has several effects. First, both groups of a player's sheep spawn at the same distance. Once we find one of our groups of extra sheep, we know that the second group roughly is on the circle with the same radius. There might be some slight differences due to the use of blank objects and the fact resources such as gold mines are generated first and can nudge the sheep out of the way, but in general, both groups of our extra sheep can be close or both can be far. We won't have one close and the other far away like we could have in the original game. And second, this same distance is used for all players. Once we scout one of our groups of extra sheep, then we know the rough distance from the TC of not only our other group of extra sheep, but of all groups of extra sheep for all players, including our teammates and our opponents. As we scroll around and look at each player, we can see their sheep all spawn at roughly the same distance. Now there is one exception, that's when cows are used instead of sheep. Cows have 150 food instead of 100, so there are only three total extra cows in a group of two and a group of one. 
Since the groups have different numbers of cows, there are two separate create object commands used to place them. That allows the group of two cows and the group of one cow to spawn at different distances. But those distances still are the same for all players. I think the idea of keeping all resources at approximately the same distance for all players might be intentional in an attempt to make the maps more fair. Personally, I'm not a fan of this implementation since it means that we can get information about our opponent's base just by scouting our own base, although I can see why someone might prefer it. But keeping both groups of extra sheep at the same distance seems like an oversight to me. Right now there's a 20% chance that both groups of sheep spawn in the case for the maximum distance. Separating each group into its own create object command at least would reduce this chance to 4%. Anyway, let's test out some map generations and see how the definitive additions changes actually affect the sheep generation. I'll put a link in the description for anyone who wants to download the map scripts and code I used. I ported the original version of Arabia to be compatible with DE, then slightly modified the standard DE version of Arabia so that it only spawns with sheep, so we can ignore the different cow variations. Then I used an auto hockey script to generate 1000 different generations of each version of Arabia, and used the good old Python scenario parsing library from Mr. Kirby to analyze them. Oh, and one thing to note, the left corner of the map is at coordinate 0, 0, with the X coordinate increasing along the axis towards the north, and the Y coordinate increasing along the axis to the south. Here I've plotted the positions of the sheep on each of the 1000 maps, relative to the town center. Immediately we notice two things. The Chebyshev metric in the original map causes the sheep to spawn in a square, whereas DE does manage to get the sheep to spawn roughly in a circle. Let's overlay these two plots on top of each other. Here we see that the sheep in the original game actually can spawn further away from the TC than they do in DE. At those diagonals we end up hitting that 30 times the square root of 2 distance of about 42 tiles, whereas in DE all of the sheep are contained in a ring with outer radius roughly equal to that of the original's outer square. Both the maximum distance at which sheep spawn and the average distance at which they spawn actually decrease slightly in DE in this sample of 1000 maps. So, are sheep actually closer than they used to be? Where are all these complaints coming from that players can't find their sheep? Well, as I said before, there's a 20% chance that DE places both groups of sheep in this outer ring. I'd imagine that players are most frustrated when they can't find all four of their sheep, and that situation may be more likely now, even though the average sheep distance has decreased. Our next graph shows the number of maps at which all four sheep are further away from the TC than a given distance. For a distance of 25, a map is included if all four of the sheep are at least 25 tiles away from the TC. From this plot, we can see that there is a bit of an increase here, where more maps are likely to have all four sheep be far from the TC. This might result in an increase in the number of games where players, particularly low level players, don't find any of their extra sheep. Now there's one more thing I wanted to try. I separated the creation of the extra sheep into two create object commands, each of which generates its own random number for the distance. Instead of both sheep being placed into the same band, now each group has its own distance, just like what is done with cows. I created 1000 more maps, and the sheep of course spawn in roughly the same shape as they did in the standard DE maps. They also have roughly the same minimum, maximum, and average distance from the TC. But there is a significant difference in the number of maps where all four sheep are far from the TC. Without changing the average distance, choosing the distance of the group separately should result in significantly fewer games where all four sheep are difficult to find. So in summary, the Definitive Edition makes several changes to Arabia so that the sheep spawn in circles instead of in squares. Currently, both groups of extra sheep spawn at the same distance from the TC. While the maximum distance actually has decreased from the original game, it currently is more likely for all four of a player's extra sheep to be at a large distance from the TC. And note this analysis does only concern Arabia, other maps have had other changes such as Arena now having its sheep always spawn inside of the walls. The map scripts might of course change again with the next patch, so maybe I'll need to do more analysis soon. But until then, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.